Welcome to Scum, an open world hardcore survival game. Knowledge and skill is the ultimate weapon for long term survival, and so far, we got none of it. I am currently a 10 hour noob, but we're gonna try and survive on this island completely solo. We'll be learning how to survive in this game together as we get deeper into the game. So get some snacks and buckle up for this solo adventure on the dangerous island of Scum. All right, so here we go. We are currently on the map. Uh, oh, we're all the way here to the right. All right, we got a massive town up here, so we can check out these first. But anyway, welcome everyone to Scum. This is going to be the first time that we're jumping into this and actually making a video of it. I've been streaming a little bit. I think we have two streams so far. Oh, damn, I don't know where we're going here. Alright, so the first thing that we're gonna do is get a little bit of basic stuff going. Now, I'm not too familiar with this game, I only have about 10 hours, but I have watched a few videos to know kind of what you need at the beginning. So let me just try and fix a little bit of stuff here and uh, see what we can do. So first of all, we're gonna make a stone knife so that we can cut down a few bushes and then we're gonna be making a stone axe head. So we got the stone knife, we're gonna be cutting down a bush, and uh, we should be able to make an axe from this as well. Okay, there we go, we got two more rocks. We're gonna make a small stone axe head. And we're gonna cut one of these long wooden sticks into small sticks as well to get a few more. We're then gonna make a tree bark rope. And now we can make a stone axe from that one and one long wooden stick. There we go. So now that we have this one, we're are gonna be able to cut down a tree and then we'll do pretty much the same thing and we're gonna try and make a, a backpack as well as a quiver I think. So we get a few wooden logs and we also get the tree branch so what we should be able to do is chop tree branch that's gonna give us a bunch of both long and short sticks. All right there we go yeah so as you can see we got a bunch of them and over here we're gonna have a bunch of small sticks as well. So, in order to make this one, uh, what do we need? Alright, we're, we're gonna be um, tearing up a few of these ones. I think like the undershirt, the boxers, and the socks. And we should be able to get three at least, yeah. And we also need for this one, the improvised quiver. So, we need five of them for this. So, we need eight in total. Right, we only got two for that. So, we're gonna cut up the socks as well. Right, there we go. Now, we can make the backpack. Alright, there we go. So, we're going to be placing that one on us. Now we got a little bit more space. Perfect. Alright, so the only things we got left to do now, as a kind of like, you know, at the beginning, would be the bow and the quiver, and without obviously a bunch of arrows. So, for this one, first of all, we do need one more tree bark rope, and... Oh, then we actually got it. Okay, easy. There we go, we got the bow. So, now let's make the quiver and a bunch of arrows. Now, for the quiver, we actually need five of the rags. Now, we're going to have to try and kill a puppet or two. I, we're just going to call them zombies. I know they're puppets, but we're going to call them zombies. So, let me just make one tree bark rope, and then we'll go and search for some, um, yeah, some of those. Alright, so I just cut up a bunch of small sticks. So, what we're going to be doing is make a bunch of arrows and just auto-craft as many as we can. So, we got a total of nine wooden arrows. We're going to make a few more soon, but... Uh, Okay, damn, we're actually getting a bit cold. So anyway, we're gonna take this out, we're gonna try and kill a um, zombie, get some rags from it, and then we can make the final equipment to get kind of started. So all of this stuff is something just that I've been uh, that I've been looking up on YouTube, just to see exactly how to get started in Scum, because as I said, I got only 10 hours, so I am, com I am a complete noob with this game, and we're gonna be learning a bunch of stuff together. So if you have any good tips or tricks, Feel free to, uh, to leave a comment down below. I really appreciate every single um, tip that I can get. But yeah, I've only been starting fresh like two times before this, I think. So I'm actually a little bit nervous on how this is going to go. But we're going to do our best. Now, this is a single player world. So we're not going to have to worry about any other players, which is nice. I want to, uh, you know, I want to learn the game before we go into any of that. But yeah, we're, we're as far east as we can possibly get here on this map. 
And we're going to be checking out, I think, these two looks to be a bunch of houses over here and over here. And then we can head up to the town once we have, you know, gathered up a little bit of uh, stuff, a little bit of an inventory. We'll head to the woods here because we're coming up to that one right up here. It looks to be quite a few houses here. I'm, I'm guessing the, the red dots are houses or maybe structures of some kind. I don't know, but we're very close. Alright, that seems to be very well protected. I don't want to come across any robots here, any mechs. That would be a very bad start. Let me go a little bit closer, see what we have to work with here. Well, this looks to be... I mean, it's very open. We can get through. And I can't hear any mechs. I can't hear any laughing sounds. We all know what that means. Then, all right, I'll check it out. We might have to run for our lives. So it's a little bit of a risky start, but I've never, I've never been in this place before, so I don't know what we could find here. Okay, that is a robot, but I'm guessing it's dead. Can they sleep? Oh, dude, I'm a little bit nervous here. <laughs> oh, that's the top half of it. Oh, <laughs> okay, it is, it is definitely dead. But we still gotta be careful, though. Alright, that is a milk. I guess I'll take that. For now. Uh, what else do we got? I've been just searching through everything. It seems to be very empty, though. I think we might be alone here, but... Don't quote me on it. Rebar cutter. Yeah, that's not something that I'm gonna be using anytime soon, so we'll leave it. I mean, this one looks a lot better than the one that I have, so maybe I should keep this one. It is a very... It's badly damaged, though. 21% only. Ooh, that's a tea pack and a tomato. All right, we got some, got some food. We'll eat that straight away, actually. That is some rubber gloves. Sure, I'll take that. Ooh. Stab-proof vest. What the hell? Isn't that a very good find? This early on? Holy shit, all right. Hey, I will take that. Thank you very much. Is he dead? Yes, you are. <laughs> He's actually very dead. All right, so we're, we're just going to go through every single house here. Just to see if there's anything... Oh, some glasses. Sure. Oh! Who? Oh. Shit! Oh, damn. I wasn't ready for that. Whew. All right. Well, let me get back my arrow. <laughs> Holy shit. Whew. Came out of nowhere. All right, let's search him. Oh! That's right. We're gonna get. We're gonna be getting some rags from this guy. Hopefully, tactical military pants. Gonna cut them up. All right, there we go. So I just cut up my boxes as well. So we got five now. We just need one, uh, one long wooden stick, and then we can make the quiver. There we go. Improvised quiver and craft. Put that on. So that's gonna. It get us um, a little bit of free, like, uh, kind of free up a little bit more space. So, I'm a little bit unsure if I should keep this one. I don't know if we can maybe, maybe we can fix this one up so it goes up to 100% again. I'm not sure how that works, but I'm a little bit unsure. I don't think that I can fix it anytime soon, so we might just leave it. To be fair though, it isn't that hard to make one of these. So when this is out, we can just make a new um, improvised bow. We'll keep this for now. And if we can uh, fix that one up later on, then it's gonna be, you know, really good. We also got three more arrow arrows. Now we got 12 out of 12. We are looking good when it comes to the, uh, the weapons and everything. So we're gonna continue searching these houses. I mean, that's a phone, but we have no one to talk to either way because we're playing single player. So <laughs> we're actually just gonna leave it. Oh. What the hell do you have on you? Oh, it's just a helmet. Oh, 
There we go. That's a clean headshot. Last one. I thought maybe we could get the helmet that he had on, but no, we didn't get anything from that. Now, this is... This seems to be a little bit of a bigger area than I thought it was going to be. It goes down quite far down there, so we might have a bunch of other houses a little bit further down. But yeah, we're just going to continue searching every single house. Okay, let's see what we have down here then. A few houses. Over there we got even more houses. Maybe I should go up in these towers as well. Maybe there's going to be some kind of weapon up there. Just laying there waiting for me. Who knows? Now, I also gotta say, I am very, very new still when it comes to the health and the metabolism. I, I'm pretty much never looking at this whatsoever. Uh, because I don't really, you know, there, there's just very over overwhelming when you're new. But the health is not too bad. I mean, it's fairly easy to keep track of. And stomach, intense colon, and bladder also fairly easy to keep track of. But all of this, I guess we'll learn that in time. It's gonna take a very long time though, but we'll learn that eventually. Oh. Hold on. Should we go in here? I don't even know if we can go in here. So, we can go in through the side and... Okay. I don't know if I should do this, but... This is very... Tempting, so I'm gonna try it. I don't know if there's a way for us to get in here, actually, but... Well, uh, we'll try. Oh, that's that's only the other side. Yeah, I don't think I can get in here actually. People have been sleeping here though, that's for sure. But in order to get in here, I need to move some stuff. I can't really do that. Yeah, I don't think there's a way for me to get in here. I can't move any of these either. <laughs> this looks like it's some kind of scanner of some kind. But no, I don't think I can get in there. Damn. Some kind of bunker of some kind. I'm guessing it would be some very good loot in there if I would be able to get in. That is some duct tape. Actually, wow, completely fresh as well. That's going to be pretty helpful. Yeah, there is a bunch of dead zombies just everywhere. I wonder what happened. Okay, that is very close. Oof. So, nay oh, may maybe Nes will be useful. Oh, shit. Standing right in front of me. Okay, maybe this one is badly damaged, so I can't really aim with it. Whoa. Okay, that scream, though, that didn't sound very good. So, for example, if I do this, if I hold it, then it's shooting it straight away. I think I should go up and change back to the one that I have, because I'm not, I, don't, I don't know if I'm completely right with this, but I think the 70, this is way too strong for me. So, if I'm not strong enough, then I can't really hold, I can't really hold it, you know, when, when I pull it back. So, I think I need to go up and change back to the... Um, to the bow that I made at the beginning. Oh, that's some ammo, actually. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna be dropping this one and um, take the improvised bow instead. Because I think the 20, you know, this one is 70. I think that's the strength that you need in order to um, kind of hold it. So, let's see now. If I pull this back... Yep, I can hold it. Okay, yep, we're gonna be keeping this one. That's a kitchen knife. Well, since we don't have a knife yet, I'll... I'll keep that one for sure. Oh! I just stepped in the fire. Did I take any damage? Burn injury. Oh, wow. What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> I need to... Damn, dude, this game. I love this game. The fact that everything is so specific, realistic, and just... I don't know. Everything is just in the smallest details, which I absolutely love. Over here we got some more fires. Yeah, this was definitely attacked by, I'm guessing, that mech that we found. That is some more duct tape. I don't think we need it, but... Okay, it's super hot in here. Damn. I'm gonna try to go up in a few of these, see if there's anything up there. 
Oh. Okay. We got a pump action shotgun. Damn, dude. And a handgun holster. Oh, so it shows up like that. Do you see that? So it shows up. Now it shows up here. Zero out of eight. And then it kind of disappears again, I think. Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay. Very good to know. Now, I do want to keep this one. We don't have that much space, though. And there's no way for us to keep it in our inventory anywhere. So, well, we're going to have to go around with the axe out in order to keep this one in our inventory. But damn, that is honestly a super good find. Se like, almost 78% as well. Durability. Now, yeah, we're going to go up in every single one of these uh, towers, whatever you want to call it. That is very worth it. That's the second one, and it's going to be a magazine for the MP5. We'll keep the magazine. Now, the we, we definitely need to uh, find some new clothes so we can get some more inventory. Because we're finding a bunch of good stuff. Dude, we're finding stuff in every single one. That's another mag. Another MP5. Which is a lot better. We'll switch them out. And uh, that's going to be some 9mm ammo as well. Dude, I, can't, I can barely keep this. So whenever I got these mags, I'm not sure how to check if there's any bullets in it. It is very unclear. Now, we do have some 9mm ammo now. And what if I take this in hand and then... Load ammo. Okay. That's how we do it. Oh, the white thing right here. That shows how much ammo it's in it. Alright, now we got a little bit. Save up some space for that. And in this one, it should be zero. Yeah, because we can't... There, there are no options to take out anything. All right, all right. One thing that we need to keep track of is our hunger. Now, it's down to 50. Which, I mean, it's just fine. But we do need to start looking for some food. Um, we can obviously kill an animal. Skin it and uh, make a fire cook it and you know, all of that. But finding some uh, fresh food would be even better. Okay, that's going to be some binoculars. I don't... Yeah, I don't even know if we can keep this, to be completely honest. The binoculars are good, but we really cannot take them at the moment. Here we go, there's gonna be another handgun uh, holster. Which is actually a lot better than the one that I have, so I'm gonna switch them out. Oh yeah, that's gonna make us um, able to keep some more stuff as well. So we got some more 9mm ammo, which we'll put into this one straight away. I don't know if we can actually keep stuff in here. Doesn't no, I think we can only keep a gun in there. Maybe this one? No. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, we had nothing up here. Oh no, we're in trouble. Dude, they're coming in from everywhere. Oh no, we got so many of them down here. Okay, that's a clean headshot. If we can do that with every single one, then we're fine. Okay, yeah, we're completely out of arrows. We killed a few. It's two... Nice, no, three left down here. I'm gonna try and sit here for a little bit. Okay, yeah, they just started to stop screaming, so... I'm guessing they will de-aggro on me if I sit here quietly enough. Then I can sneak down, get my arrows back, and if they come again, I'll just shoot them down. That's gonna be the plan. Okay, I could actually reach two of the arrows when I went down a little bit on the ladder. That's a kill on another one. And I did see one of them walking away. Yeah, you're walking away. I think this is our chance to get down. Oh, 
Oh my god, dude. He just came running straight away. Okay. This is gonna be the first time I'm fighting someone melee, by the way. Ever. You know what? That was not bad. I thought I could hear someone else, but maybe not. Ooh, that's- Oh, wow. Wait a minute, that's ammo for my shotgun. No way. Two, three, five of them. All right. Well, we got our shotgun going as well. Awesome, dude. That is great. I'm gonna drop the binoculars. That, that is only gonna be extra. We can, we're probably gonna be able to find them later on. I need a lighter. I'll keep that one. And we also got the flare, obviously. Okay, let me go and collect all the arrows that I lost over there. Get them back. And I think I saw one or two more. We'll take every, everyone out. Whoa. Oh! Shit. What am I doing? There we go. Oh, dude. Okay, hold on. Health. Stomach empty. C1. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, so, I'm still a little bit... Um, worried when it comes to c2 and c3 i'm not exactly sure what to do by then but well i ah, we, we, we should be fine whenever that happens we uh, <laughs> let's just hope for the best honestly oh there you are and four there we go Got some more 9mm ammo, actually. Okay, so we can completely fill this one up now. Uh, damn it, dude. We need to... <laughs> we need some more space. Um, and pop that in. So we're going to be filling this one up. I think we should be able to have this full now. Because we did find quite a few. Yep, there we go. Completely full. And then we also got 12 extra 9mm ammo. Uh, we can't really use it right now, though. But that is actually very good to have. 9mm used in a few of them. Uh, but as you can see, our hunger is down to 27%. That is not good at all. So we need to go and find some food. Yeah, well, just as soon as possible. That over there is going to be the town. But it's going to be an insane amount of zombies there. I'm 100% certain. So I think we're going to go down to this place instead. We just ate a grasshopper <laughs> and some larva. I hope that's not gonna screw us up completely uh, with some stomach issues or, you know, anything like that. But we're down to 21%. We need to find food ASAP. We're, uh, we're getting pretty close to this area down here. Hopefully that's gonna give us something. Okay, here we go. We got... Some kind of construction site. And I'm guessing it's going to be quite a few zombies here as well. But we need to find some kind of food here. If we don't get any food, we need to be very quickly with killing an animal. And uh, from there, just skin it up, make a fire, cook the meat, and then eat it. Okay, we're inside of this place. I need to be very careful. Um, I don't want to go into, like, just a bunch of them. And then we'll die. Just for nothing. So let's take it easy. Try and find some food. And actually survive this day. Ooh, canned tuna. Oh, okay. I really, really needed that. Whew. Okay, yeah. We find some food. Let's uh, open it. And let's get our food in ourselves. Okay, we're gonna eat everything because we need it. So, our stomach... It's only 19%. I thought it was gonna be more. 
Hold on, what is this? Amanitine. PSN C1. It affects the head. Weakness, hunger, and fatigue. I ate a mushroom. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, everything is going to go down a little bit. Or like, not everything, but a few of the stats. Not sure how much that's going to affect me, but I guess we're just going to have to see. Okay, here we're coming up to a bunch more houses. Um, our hunger is actually going down now again. We barely got it up anywhere. Which I'm a little bit confused why that happened, but... Um, well, I, I don't know. We need, we need to find more food. That's all I know. Ooh, chocolate candy bar. I will eat that straight away. Thank you. Okay, that was it for this building. We actually quite uh, find quite a bit of stuff there. Now, I just gotta keep searching all of these houses. We're st we're up to 25% hunger, but we still need more. We really do. Uh, I doubt we're gonna be finding anything more here because it's a construction site, but as soon as we've done here, we're gonna go down into this place down here. Okay, as you can see, it's like blurry in the distance. I think that's what this one is doing. The mushroom that I ate. It's screwing me up. Weakness, hunger, fatigue, blurred vision, yep, diarrhea. Oh no, I don't know. Ah, oh, shit, we should not have ate that. I don't know if that's going to affect me in the long term or not, but that was a bad choice. See that? Some kind of airdrop. My vision is so blurry that I can't see it, though. If it's even down yet, maybe it's in the air somewhere. I don't know. I need to check that out, though. That might be something very useful. So, if I understand this right, this airdrop is going to be surrounded by a bunch of zombies. And... Oh, actually, here are some more houses that I can check out. Uh, and... I need to get a lockpick to get in there. Now, I do have the bobby pin box, and I also have a small screwdriver, two out of three. So, maybe we can actually get in there, but we need to kill all the zombies that's going to be around it. And I don't know how many that's going to be. Okay, there we go, that's four. And I know this one is gonna explode, but I think that's from when I open it, if I can open it. I haven't I haven't tried this yet. Oh, here we go. Open. Okay, so it looks like we got eleven minutes on us. Okay. So locked. Now uh take out Bobby Pin. And then craft lockpick. And uh, take in hands. Oh! We did it. Apparently. Oh! <gasps> okay, that is so much good stuff. Holy shit, that's a lot of drinking and. Okay. Oh, wow, straight away. AS Val. I don't know what that is. But I'm guessing it's a good gun. Oh, yeah, that's right. We only had two for the screwdriver, so we can't open more. Oh, man. Unlucky. Um, so, yeah, we, we can't open anymore. But, I mean, we got a really good gun. I think. And uh, we got a shotgun as well. Plus an improvised bow. Now, I collected three water bottles and two of the caramel sodas. I don't think that I can pick up any more from this. We only we got three milk that I guess we can just... Yeah, let's just drink as much as we can right now, I guess. <coughs> there we go. Nice burp. Okay, we need to get out of here now. Now, the blurry vision is getting a lot worse all the time. Uh, damn, th this is not good, dude. Not good at all. Wait, will I die from this? Wait a minute, will I actually die from this? How can I treat it though? Death ensues upon reaching severity 4. Treatment. Toxic spread can be stopped by consuming activated charcoal as it expels the toxins from the body. The effects stop when all toxins leave the body. So I'm gonna die? Really? Duke. I <laughs> oh, come on, man. Actually? 
it says I'm going to die. Is there a way for me to um, respawn and maybe get my, my items back? Because I don't want to lose everything that I've, you know, <laughs> that I've gained so far. Yeah, but our health is down to uh, like 30%. Yep, we're definitely dying here. Okay, so we're inside this building now, and uh, I just locked myself in here. So if, I mean, we, we are gonna die, as you can see, we got 4%. Now, <laughs> I don't know if I can respawn and maybe pick up my stuff. That could maybe work, but uh, hey, I'm, I'm unsure, but well, let, let's just see what happens. Yeah, I just spent like almost an hour running all the way back here, and my stuff is not here. We lost every single thing, every weapon, and everything else. Wow. Well, there is no time to sulk. We're gonna be jumping in once again. Now, I made a completely new character because I respawned so many times, I was minus a thousand dollars. So, no, this is a completely new character and we're actually... Ooh, okay, we're very far south. And there's a bunch of houses here on this kind of... I was gonna say island, but not really. Oh, well, maybe. All right, well, we'll start here on the edge for sure. And we'll uh, work our way in. Okay, so we're landing right here in the middle of a few few houses. So let's be a little bit careful. We're going to do the same thing as we did at the beginning of the last character. Uh, just uh, making a few of the standard stuff. The backpack, the uh, the quiver, the weapons, you know, everything like that. So I'll, be, I'll get back to you in just a second. Okay, well, we're almost done. All I'm looking for now is going to be a little bit more... Actually, we can... No, okay, so it, to make the improvised... Uh, quiver we need five racks that is all we need and then just a long stick and then we got everything in order to start now we also found a baseball bat i think this one will be pretty good to fight with that's good now we do actually have a police station right here where we spawned so yeah let's check this out i don't know where they are but there were so many of them screaming oh i think they're oh what the hell Okay, here we go. We got the long stick. We got the the rags from the from the one that I killed, and we can make the quiver finally. Okay, that is interesting. So because we only used really bad ones, this one is now down. So we can't really. Okay, that's a problem. Well, the only thing we can do is destroy it and then make it again with some. Uh... I, I have to cut my socks, I think, just to, in order to get. It. But either way, we're gonna be searching this before we do anything. Military helmet straight away. Thank you. Military compass. Yes, I will take you as well. <sighs> oh shit. From behind. Holy shit. Okay. We gotta be careful here, man. Oh, some ammo as well. Okay. Whoa. How the hell did you get up here? I don't know what's happening, dude. Whoa! That... Did not sound good! Oh! Oh shit! Dude! Oh! I gotta get the arrows back. Quickly. More is gonna come. <sighs> oh my god, that headshot. Okay. Where are they all coming from? I don't know. This is weird. They're coming from everywhere. Whew, okay. Breathe. Relax. Take it easy. You can do this. Oh shit, that's a gun. Okay. I definitely want to keep that one. Zero out of six ammo. Okay. But, uh... 
I mean, we'll keep it for sure. Oh shit! Oh my god, there are so many outside. Okay, there we go, we finally did it. Whew, that took a while. Alright, so let's get back uh, this one. Now we're sitting on the baseball bat, improvised bow, and the M1887. This one needs... Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a shotgun. I thought it was a rifle first. Oh, yeah, okay, I see now. That's a toolbox, which I would like to pick up, but... No. <laughs> Not right now. We need only the essential stuff. I mean that's a gas ma gas mask, but we are not gonna be we're not gonna use that one right now. As I said, only the essentials. We cannot afford to pick up anything else. No way we actually just found ammo for the shotgun. Really? Okay, so we got six ammo in it, and then we got eight more here. Damn, dude. I'm gonna try and not use it though, because, you know, it makes a lot of sound, but if we really have to, then we will. Tactical handgun holster. Well, I'll take that as well. Ooh, that's a cucumber. Yes, please. Check taste. Mild. Okay, let's eat it. So that's gonna be it for the police station. Now, we cannot open any of the locked ones, because we don't have any bobby pins. We did actually find a small screwdriver, the first thing that we did, but, uh... Nothing else. No crowbar and no wobble pins, as I said. So, I think that's it. Yep, we gotta keep going. We got a small store which might have. Ooh, is that gonna be <sighs> garlic? Nah, that is so good to get so we can cure infections if we need to. Now, our inventory is already completely full. So, yeah, we're gonna be dropping those. We got some military goggles. I don't even remember picking them up, but sure. And now I can actually hold <laughs> the ammo once again. We got some mustard that we can eat, and some orange juice as well. We'll uh, leave that after we're done here. So here we got some salt. I don't know how important the ingredients is. For example, like salt. Um, what's that going to do to you? Obviously, I know that salt holds water. So the more salt you eat, the more... Uh, water your body's gonna hold, but the more you're gonna be peeing as well, I think, after a while when it goes out, so I, you, I, I don't know how specific this game is in that sense but if any of you guys know, well, please let me know, and I love the fact that you can you can search pretty much everything you can search all the cars you can search all the trash stuff, you know, pretty much everything I love this feature it's not like you're finding a bunch of good stuff though, but at least like at the beginning it's very useful, very helpful. For example, parsnip, check taste. Oh, it's spoiled. No, we can, can't eat that. Okay. Now, I gotta be very careful with what I put in my mouth. Yes, that sounds weird, but it's true. <laughs> Last time I ate a mushroom and it literally killed me. It actually killed me. One little mushroom killed me. That's how insane this game is, so... We gotta be super careful. We need to make sure we only eat stuff that is good. Man, dude, there's so much to look in this game. There's so much to uh, like to, to do and everything. We started over there. We've made it 20 meters since we started this new character. Damn. <laughs> it goes very slow, but I love this progression. Even though it's very, very slow, everything matters. Literally everything matters in this game. Which, I don't know, dude. I, I absolutely love this game so far. Absolutely Love it. <laughs> that is gonna be a hip flask. We'll keep it. That looked so good. Ooh, here we got water. Alright, yes, please. Uh, we're gonna be filling this one up, the hip flask. It is liquor in this one, so we're actually gonna uh, pour everything out. We don't need liquor at this point, we need water. Okay, there we go. Our thirst is a hundred. We probably drank a little bit too much, so the bladder is gonna fill up very, very fast, I think. But yeah, whatever, whatever. We uh, take that one back, and we also filled this one up as well. So we got a little bit of extra water. We're gonna continue searching all 
of this. There are so many houses going down to uh, towards the water. As you can see, we got the whole coast here that we're going to be checking out. And then we got... This is probably the safe zone with the trader, right? If I'm not mistaken. So everything that we find, we should be able to sell here as well. That's going to be a completely new experience as well. So that's going to be interesting. That's a trucker jacket. Damn, that actually gives me quite a bit of space to work with. Is there any way for us to pop in maybe one of these? No. Alright, well that's a new knife. I will take it and then we'll drop the, the old one. The stone knife. Melee weapon holster. Drop the knife that we found in there. Alright, I didn't even know. <laughs> Okay, so we get a tactical handgun holster and a weapon holster. All right, two of them. That's gonna be some yoga leggings. That's gonna be underneath. I'm uh, not gonna have any have anything in them, but that's gonna make me a little bit warmer, I think. Oh yeah, holy shit! The bladder is 94%. Let's take a pee pee in this bush. There we go. You see, helping the plant grow. That's what we do. That's a big one. We should be able to eat quite a bit from that. And I think both of them were pretty good as well. Mild, slightly off with the broccoli. Check taste. Mild. Okay, yeah. Pumpkin is good to go. Oh, we got cheese slices. <laughs> Actually finding quite a bit of food. Which is something that we definitely did not do the first run. So, this is, uh, I would say, even better. Even though we had some pretty good gear after a while with the other one, but now nah, this is definitely a better start. Oh shit, you're fast! Oh! Who gave me goosebumps? Doku. Some of them are really, really fast. I don't know why, but they are. Terrifying. Okay, I just ate kind of like the icing on the cake. Like literally, not, not the figure of speech, like literally. See that sugar? Quite a bit. Uh, which is not ideal, but ah, we could use some sugar at this point. After all, we're fighting for our life here. Bladder, 94%. Holy shit, again. Alright, well, let's do it right here. That's going to be a waste bag. And, ooh, bobby pin box. Thank you. Drop the screwdriver there as well so we know where we have it. All right, now we can open some lockers. Also managed to find a thread. So I've been searching all of this area now to... Um, and it's only this little bit. Hold, dude, we got so many more houses. Oh, boy. So once we've cleared out all of this, as I said, the, all the stuff that we find that we're not going to be using, we're going to go to the trader and we're going to be selling it. Hopefully that's going to get us a little bit of money so that we can get something valuable from it. At least I think that's how it works, you know, that's simple. Go there, sell, and purchase some stuff. But, um, yeah, we got a lot more to go through. <laughs> a lot more. Hopefully, like the main thing that I would like to get is going to be a very, very big backpack. That would be ideal because then we can just, you know, pop everything that we find in there. I mean, come on, dude, look at this game. It really looks amazing. Even to see those moving in the distance. Man, this is amazing. It looks so good. Okay, so now we're coming up to the next area. We're still at the same place here, but like this was a very big section over here, which we looted every single house. Now we have managed to find quite a bit of stuff actually so far. The only thing that I would like to find, as I said before, is gonna be a very big backpack so we can feel even more. We got a bunch of food, a bunch of water, and um, some magazines, some ammo, a little, little bit of random stuff in here. So, I mean, it's, it's not looking bad. It's, it's a decent start. It really is. Um, and I think if we get a big backpack, we can also hold one of these three in that backpack. So we don't need to carry one all the time. We're going to take off the woodcutter shirt a little bit because I am feeling hot. And I don't know how much that's going to affect me. I think I'm going to be sweating a bit more. Maybe losing some more... Um, water from my body, if, if if that's even the case. As I said, I don't know how specific this game is, but let's not uh, take that chance. Although our stats are looking absolutely beautiful. 
and everything here is looking good. We are losing a little bit of fiber, then we haven't got pretty much anything, and we do need some more carbs as well. But we do got some crackers, as you can see here. We'll eat those soon. So my artery is currently no skill. It's up to 41%. But I, th I think that the, the percentage is just the this level, right? I'm not sure how it works with the bows. Because this one has 100, as you can see. But less than 100. The one that I have currently is only 20. Yeah, 20. I think that's the draw strength that you need. But I'm not exactly sure how to see that. Because, uh, well, it doesn't say anything here. It just says 41%. But uh, I think we'll leave this one here. Don't think I can draw anything with it. There we go. That's the first zombie in a while. There aren't that many here at the coast. Oh, hello. I think it's only one. Oh shit. Oh, you're a fast one. And the good thing about the bat that the with the fast ones is that they're so weak. One hit, no matter where you hit them, will uh, will just kill them. Okay, but anyway, we've been we've been searching through a bunch of houses. Like honestly, just more than I honestly want to. It's starting to get a little bit tedious, but we do have a few more houses here. And uh, then I think we're almost done. Yeah, we only got this bit left down here. So this and a few more houses over there. Oh! No, no. Did you hear that? That was someone laughing. Bastard, I don't see him. Oh, there you are. Oh, wait, we got military here. <sighs> okay. We got more of them coming. Pick up all the arrows. Oh, dude, this is terrifying. Because I know that they can explode, but... I don't know what it takes for them to explode. That's the thing. <sighs> okay, well... Gotta be careful. Okay, so this is... Some kind of military place. We need... To look at this. But I also kind of want to take this one out, the laughing one. I just searched through everything here. And we didn't really find that much. A little bit of food, a little bit of ammo. Some 9mm ammunition box. And yeah, just a little bit of stuff here and there. Okay, we got one right in front of us. Oh shit, we got two of them. This one. Ooh, is that a headshot? Damn. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, dude, I can't miss like that. Come on. Really bad. C1, we're fine. No problem. Whoa. Wait, we're bleeding? Hold on. L let me see if it disappears. Okay, no. Dude, I don't think I've seen myself bleed like that before. I was, I was actually a little bit worried. Now, our backpack took a little bit of damage, so we can't use this section right here now. A little bit unfortunate. Uh, the truck jacket also took a little bit of damage. I'm, I need to look up how to repair my my clothes and everything. Maybe maybe I can find some kind of standard repair kit. Maybe. Here we got a metal baseball bat instead of this one. I think that's gonna be a lot better, right? Metal one. It should be. <laughs> oh no! I don't wanna take that one. Oh shit! 
archery skill up to basic. All right. Archery basic, yep. Um, I still wish I could see a little bit more info about this. How much of a draw strength I have at this point. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh! Hold on. Black Hawk crossbow. So for this one, I'm guessing I need some uh, some bolts. A bolt is ammunition using the crossbow. Okay, so how do we make these ones? Ooh, I need... Do I... I have to get feathers? Really? I don't want that. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, we're gonna be picking up this one. So the other one... I actually placed over here. So after we've been to the trader, uh, if we can maybe purchase a backpack of some kind, maybe we can go back and this one will still be here. I don't know about the despawn system in this game. So... If if we can get a backpack where we can hold more stuff, I'll definitely come back for this one. Uh, so it, this is right on the edge of this. So we, we've been checking out all of this down here. every Pretty much every single house. Um, so now we're going to be heading up to the trader. See what we can sell. See how much money we can get. And hopefully, I'll come back for you, Mr. Blackhawk. Currently, uh, halfway to the trader. We got something up here. Some kind of bunker, maybe? I'll actually check that out real quick. Oh, shit. Oh, that's definitely a bunker. Maybe we can get down into it. Well, it's not protected by anything, that's for sure. It's just completely abandoned. Oh! Oh! There we go. Okay, we got a bunch of military stuff that we can search here, hopefully. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, I thought I heard something. Hopefully that's not gonna attract too many. Ah, <sighs> oh, terrifying, damn. It's a little bit closer than I thought it was gonna be. Oof. Some firefighter pants. They're very bad, though. Alright, so what do we got? We got some... I mean, everything... All of this... Yeah, all, all of this is sealed. So I'm guessing that everything will be good to go. Sealed, sealed. Yep, everything is just sealed. So I should be able to eat that, actually. Oh, no, it's rotten. Okay, so I can open them first. And once I've opened them, I can check on them as well. Just to see... If they're rotten or not. Alright, yeah. We, I don't think we can eat any of that then. But anyway, we did have... Yeah, that's the one that I opened. So anyway, we can actually go down... Oh, that was open. M1887. Really bad quality though, so I'm not, not even gonna touch that. Um, there was a place that we can go down. Right over here. Now, I don't know if we can go into the actual structure of it. But there was something that went down, yes sir. Oh shit. Okay, then. I like this. Cargo drop deployed, landing in 10 minutes. Sector 23. Ooh, that's super close. Oof. We can get the airdrop. 100%. Oh, sorry. Um, 100%. We got the, uh, the, the the pin boxes, and we also got some screwdrivers. So I think we can actually get that. I don't know what's happening with the grounder. Even either this is a bug or it's something to do with my mental thing. I don't know, dude. It looks very weird, and I want to get out of here. Maybe it was. Oh! Oh! Fuck off! Holy shit, dude! You bastard! Oh my god! Run, 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 run! Okay. Holy shit! I'll beat your big ass. 
Okay, that's C1, but I am getting infected here. So that's this is why it's very good to have this, the garlic. So we're going to eat one of them. Come on. Okay, yeah, there we go. So we, we need to keep track of these injuries now. I think I might need to eat one more. Uh, because the the, um, the infection might come back. Dude, that scared the living hell out of me. Honestly. He was just standing out there waiting for me. God damn. Ooh, okay, let me search all of these. Maybe they got some money. I mean, there's 6% and 20%. I don't think that's worth picking up. I got some um, some Goslog shots. And they are 68. So I would much rather keep those, I think. Stabilization. Okay, th they're stabilizing. But I think the infection might be able to get back either way. So let let's keep track of them. But uh, yeah, we're going to head to the... Oh, no, no. Oh, I completely forgot. We got the airdrop. My inventory is completely full though, which is definitely a problem. So I will only pick up the uh, most essential things. So the question is, where's the airdrop? I'm pretty much right on it, but I can't see it. And I don't know if it's kind of like dropping. Like, maybe it's in the air somewhere. It hasn't dropped yet. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got three of them here. Yep. Three of them just walking. We need to, we need to take care of them. There we go. That's two of them. That's three, and I think I saw one or two more over here somewhere. They were walking. Yep, here we got two of them. There's one. Okay, there's two more of them. You know what? I think it said 10 minutes, right? With a message. So maybe these zombies are gathering around here because there will be a drop very, very soon. And that is why there are a bunch of zombies um, around every single drop because they are like gathering there before it actually drops. That makes a lot of sense if that's the case. Oh, that's another one. Okay, dude, there are quite a few of them. Oh, yeah, so all the injuries are now... They're pretty much good to go. Yeah, all of them are going to be recovering now. So our health is currently down to 75. But our stats are looking fine. And we got no infection. Whoa! Dude! <laughs> okay. You scared the living shit out of me. Oh, boy. Okay, so we've killed most... Most, I will, I've killed every single zombie that I've seen around here. Maybe there will be even more now when this one has dropped. I don't know. But we definitely need to keep track around this place to make sure we don't get jumped from behind, you know. I'm gonna drop the bow and the gun. And just have them right outside here. So we're gonna open. Ooh, 20 minutes. Perfect. There we go. First one. That was fast. Weapon cleaning kit. How big is that going to be then? Oh, come on, dude. That was a hard one. Oh, wow. Tourniquet. That's a lot of just healing stuff. Painkillers, vitamin pills, antibiotics, emergency bandage. Damn, dude, I kind of need all of that. Okay, that was super fast. Car repair kit, tire repair kit, car down. Okay, that is terrible. God damn it. There 
There we go. Car 98. Uh, it's a bolt action rifle. Semi auto and full automatic rifle during World War II. Ghillie suit bottom. Okay, see, the problem with that is, it, like, the ghillie suits are very, very good, but this one can carry even more. So, honestly, I don't even know if it's worth having these. So, I did pick up a good things. We got the, the hemostatic dressing, and also picked up the weapon cleaning kit. That, that one is going to be massive, I think. We got the emergency bandage, and what else did I get? I got the antibiotics as well. Super, super important. And I'm also going to keep the, the ghillie suit. So, the thing is now... I already got this one here. I think I'm going to take the baseball bat in my hands, keep the other gun in here. And then we're going to be leaving the bow because we can just make a new one whenever. And I'm going to try and sell... I want to see how much I can get for both of these. Uh, maybe maybe quite a bit of money because we're super close to the trader, as you know. So, yeah, we're, we're completely done here. And I think the sun... Yeah, it's actually going down, so it's going to get dark very soon. But um, this was very, very successful. I like that. We... Um, Definitely made the right choice to go in here. So yeah, let's head up to the trader. See what we can get from the from the guns. All right, here we go then. So should be the same safe zone. Maximum allowed parking time two hours. Vehicle will be destroyed if parking time exceeds the limit. All right, well I don't have any of that, so we're good. Saloon. Well, hello. Trade. Oh, unlocks at 15 fame points. I can't buy anything. Merchant, eh? Well, I, I, I'm only at 12 fame points, so does that mean I can't trade? Yeah, you okay, she's hitting on me. All right. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can go somewhere else. Unlocks at 65 fame, po fame points. Oh, this guy only wants food. Would it look like food and some, some of this stuff? Um, he's not putting any price on this. Yeah, it's because he's zero. There are so many things that we can buy. Absolutely insane. Now, the binoculars cost $2,000. I actually found one of those. I didn't pick them up because I didn't have space. I think that would have sold for a lot. Okay, here we just got a bunch of vehicles and stuff. I want to find the weapon boats for sale. Huh? Okay, they gotta be super expensive, right? Uh, motorboats unlocks at 340 fame point. Holy shit. I feel like that's gonna take quite some time. Okay, here we got some medical stuff. Let's see what you got. Antibiotics 536. I mean, we can't sell that. I think the antibiotics is gonna be super, super, super important. At least it could be, just in case you know something happens. Uh, the hemostatic dressing 222. Okay, here we got armory. This should be where I can sell the guns. What's up? Yes, yeah, sir. The place. Okay, the car 98 2.3k. I mean, that has to be worth it. The thing is, this one is pretty much 100%. I think that's why it's selling for so much. This is only 56, so it's only 500. See, the thing is, I cannot buy any ammo or anything like that, so I think that I should sell this one right now, because we are definitely going to be able to find some good guns later on. And I do think I need the money right now, uh, so that we can purchase a backpack whenever we can. So we're actually going to be selling that one. We're up to 2.7 now. Alright, we just made some massive sales. Now, I decided to sell every single weapon that I found. So the only thing that we're having right now is the metal baseball bat. We are gonna make another uh, bow though, and then we're gonna be filling up the arrows as well. So we got 12. I'm gonna rely on the arrows because they are actually good enough for now. And the only things that I need right now is gonna be money because we're up to $4,083. So whenever we get the fame points, then we can go and purchase a backpack, I think. Here we got the bank. What? Okay, there we go. So we now have an account balance of 4,001. 
I'm guessing that showing you guys the uh, the account number and everything is not going to matter because I'm playing in a single player world and no one else will have access to this. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got 4,000. Now let me go and see if there was anything that I could see uh, when, when it came to the backpacks. So the clothing unlocks at 35 fame points. Melee weapons, 50. Uh, I'm not sure how the fame points works, by the way. I'm not sure how to get them, but I'm up to 13 now. So I'm guessing the more um, the more stuff I do in the world, the more fame points I will get. I, I will try and look that up uh, until the next episode as well. But as you can see, we are uh, we've cleared out the inventory a little bit, so we can now we can now go uh, go out in the world and find some more stuff to uh, to pick up, and then go come over here again and just sell it. I just used the needle and I think the thread in order to make a improvised sewing kit. So with this one, maybe we can. Oh yeah, as you can see. Yeah, oh yeah, we can repair stuff. Okay, wait. Let me see how this works exactly. Um, fifteen out of fifteen. So if we repair this one. I don't know how much that's going to get up to. It's, it's right now on 66. And that's going to get up to 100. And it only uses 2. Ooh. Okay, let's try and repair everything. Alright, everything is now at 100%. This was a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, because I, I, had the, uh, I had the needle and the thread for quite some time. And... Okay, well, that is good to know. I'm learning, I'm learning. This is good. So, now we can keep even more stuff. Alright, that's awesome. Well, okay then. So, it's night time. And we're not going to go out until it gets uh, daytime. So, I think this is a good place to end the first episode of Scum. Now, as I said before, I'm absolutely loving this game. There is so much that I don't know about this game. So, I'm going to have to learn the game as we go. And I would love to get your help with this. With a few tips and tricks and everything. So, if you guys know anything... Don't hesitate, drop a comment down below. I would really, really appreciate it. So if you made it to the end, I do want to say thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. So have an awesome day, everyone. And I will catch you guys in the next one.